I wanted to share with you um, an upcoming conference in case you want to attend it. It's called Decolonizing Russia. Um, <laughs> Ooh, sounds fun. I know. So Decolonizing Russia, a moral and strategic imperative. You can register. Uh, and it's uh, it's the Commission on Security and Cooperation in Europe, also known as the Helsinki Commission. So this is a something that the Helsinki Commission is putting together. And um, it goes a little something like this. Russia's barbaric war on Ukraine, and before that on Syria, Libya, Georgia, and Chechnya. Okay, Russia, I didn't realize, had a war on Syria uh, or Libya. Has exposed the Russian Federation's viciously imperial character to the entire world. Its aggression also is catalyzing a long overdue conversation about Russia's interior empire, given Moscow's dominion over many indigenous non Russian nations, and the brutal extent to which the Kremlin has taken to suppress their national self expression and self determination. Serious and controversial discussions are now underway about reckoning with Russia's fundamental imperialism and the need to, quote, decolonize, end quote, Russia for it to become a viable stakeholder in European security and stability. As the successor to the Soviet Union, which cloaked its colonial agenda in anti-imperial and anti-capitalist nomenclature, Russia has yet to attract appropriate scrutiny for its consistent and oftentimes brutal imperial tendencies. Um, then they list the participants, which include um, Casey Michael, who's part of the Hudson Institute. Casey Michelle, oh, I believe. Always a good place. Yeah, always yeah, a good place. To always a go good place. They experts. don't like to list that, but that's where he's where, where he's at. He's the author of American Kleptocracy. Hannah Hopko, chair, Democracy in Action Conference, former member of the Ukrainian Parliament. Erica Marat, associate professor, College of International Security Affairs, National Defense University. Butakaz Kasiembekova, lecturer, University of Basel, and Fatima Tli, Circassian journalist. Um, so, what what are your thoughts on on that? Anything in here you'd like to unpack? Um, I I mean. <laughs> Uh, you're right to to wonder about the barbaric Russian war on Syria, given that Russia was invited by right. the Syrian government to intervene. Um, the barbaric Russian war on Libya is also iffy to me, given yeah. that uh, they were invited. Or they, I mean, you know, it's it's Wagner Group, I guess Wagner Group mercenaries, but uh, they were they were brought in by one of the two Libyan governments, and really, you know, the the one that had a working parliament so um you know arguably in both of those cases uh, they were they were asked to come in by the legitimate government of those countries um i'd like to know if we're doing decolonization everywhere because right. i could think of some places that have been colonized more recently than russia supposedly colonized all these non-russian peoples uh so maybe we could maybe we could start with like first in first or last in first out and work our way back i don't know yeah. that that might be a good idea yeah good start what what do they say you're like supposed to clean up your own side of the street yeah that's that's another thing i guess that uh you know you could you could say about this like take care of your your own colonization right, before yeah. you go uh, go worry about somebody else's yeah decolonize yourself first yeah but i think this is interesting the the woke um Oh, the, yeah, language. the capture. Yeah, the capture. Yeah. Like the the leftist the rhetoric is is fascinating. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's also funny because as if when they say Russia has yet to attract appropriate scrutiny for its consistent, oftentimes brutal imperial tendencies, that's like all the rage. I feel like that's what everyone is doing. Uh, yeah, people, I, you know, and there's it's very orientalizing. Also, been a, it seems like there's been a fair amount of scrutiny. I will I will say that. Yeah. So, but maybe we can register the, maybe we can go to the conference. <laughs> I'm sure it looks, it looks great. I mean, yeah. uh, great panel should be a yeah. scintillating discussion. Yeah.